got another walkthrough of an NMR question for you to try. So we're up to number 18 now. It's actually three section A questions, so three multiple choice questions. So there they are. If you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll start with question one. So we've got to work out how many um, peaks will be observed in the proton NMR spectrum for this dicarboxylic acid. So we're looking for symmetry to see if we've got equivalent environments and there's a line of symmetry down there. So that makes these two hydrogens equivalent, these two sets of hydrogens equivalent, which leaves a third environment there. So the answer was three. Question two, which compound shows four peaks in its carbon 13 NMR spectrum? So again, we're looking for symmetry. So the first one, there's a line of symmetry there. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's not A. For B, we've got a line of symmetry there. So that makes these equivalent. So one, two, three, four. Right, so we've got it. That's the answer. We'll just talk about the other two just for revision purposes. So we've got a line of symmetry there. So one, two, three, four, five. And in the last one, we've actually got two lines of symmetry. We've got one there, and one across there. So their equivalents are one. Their equivalents are two. These are all equivalents, or three for this one. And the final one, which compound is used as the standard for NMR chemical shift measurements? So we're looking for the formula for TMS here. So TMS is tetramethylsilane, which is compound A. So we've got four methyl groups, tetramethyl on a silicon atom, silane. So the answer was A.